Hi, my name is Matt, and today we are going to be installing some LED lighting in our Jayco expander trailer. In the pantry cupboard here, it's actually quite dark inside the shelving. So I'm going to install some LED strip lighting and show you how that's done. Okay, first of all, you need to determine which circuit you're going to use. So this is the fuse box, which is under the seat. Now to take this cover off, open the trap door there. I'm going to remove this screw. So one screw in here holds the cover on. There it is. Now before I do anything, I will mention that the power must be disconnected to the caravan for this. So this cover simply comes off. Careful of the fuses when you take that off. And you can see here the blade fuses. This one's for the battery. Now you take these four screws out. Very easy. And this whole charging module then just slides out carefully. Now we can see all of the negative terminals, which for some reason are white cabling, and the positive terminals, which are black. Now this cable here, circuit 5, as you can see there, it's L5. This yellow cable is the one that we're going to use. This one is for, let's have a look at the cover, is for the range hood. And that's where we want to install this lighting next to the range hood. So we need to look for this yellow cable inside the cupboard. Now you can see down in the bottom of the pantry cupboard where the wiring looms run, we've found the yellow, which is the positive cable from the circuit we need. And there is another circuit running in with it, which is the black, that's a positive. There's two negative, well, return cables if you like, the two whites. Now considering they're all connected at the charger end, it doesn't really matter which one we use. Okay, so what I've done here now is I've stuck the LED strip lighting to the top of each cupboard section with a little bit of silicon and then run the wire down from the top cupboard through and the blue is just masking tape holding until the silicon sets. This is the second cupboard, so again the light running down through to the bottom cupboard, light, and this is where all three cables will come. Now I've got the cable coming up through the bottom, which is down into this lower section where I've done this join. So you can see here I've found the yellow cable, and what I've done is done a crimp join. So cut the cable, I've joined it onto itself and I've put a tail onto it which will come to a small connecting block so if I ever need 12 volts in the future I've got it here. I could have run this feed cable directly to that join but uh, I thought at least if I've got this in play I can jump into that later on if I need to. Okay so we've basically connected all this up so if we open the door the light comes on straight away what I've done is I've installed a contact switch here that operates all of the lights. So when the door's shut, it's off, door opens, they all turn on. So as you can see, each bay is well illuminated. The blue tape I'll remove once the silicon dries. What I'm going to do is tidy all of this cabling up. And the same down here, I just need to tidy this up, screw up this junction box here. And job's done. Okay, so I've tidied it up a little bit. All I have to do is remove the blue tape once the silicone is set. Coming down, so the switch. Put a little bit of this plastic duct in there just to hide all the cables. And then down the bottom, I've mounted that small joining box on the wall so I can get into that for later circuits if I need. And that's it. Close the door. 
Lights off, open the door, lights on, easy peasy. Now what I didn't mention is how you can solder on the cable onto the LED strip. So that will be in a, another video. Thank you and subscribe if you like.